Now, your weekly Wolfpack sports update, brought to you by News First 5. Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Mason with your Wolfpack Weekly Update. This past Friday marked National Girls and Women in Sports Day, which is a nationwide event that celebrates females in sport. And CSU Pueblo celebrated the event with a visit by former Olympic handballer Cassandra Hires, who came down from her home in Colorado Springs to talk to the girls from the Pueblo Boys and Girls Club about sportsmanship and hard work. You see what the wrong choices can do. What about the right choices? For me, family of four, no money, my mom worked. As I made those choices, I was able to get a scholarship to go to college. Who would have thought a little girl, no money, no anything, from Bristol, Connecticut, before ESPN got there, would end up at the University of North Carolina with Michael Jordan. Hires was a member of the 1992 and 96 USA handball teams, and she headlined an event that featured sport clinics put on by female athletes from multiple CSU Pueblo women's sports. The U.S. Congress has proclaimed this event a national day each year since 1987. CSU Pueblo's was one of about 1,000 taking place across the entire nation. Pueblo youngsters again came out in droves Saturday night to CSU Pueblo's basketball games to get a first-hand look of the world-famous SpongeBob SquarePants during the Thunder Wolves' annual Take a Kid to a Game Night. Fans were able to meet and take pic pictures with SpongeBob and see CSU Pueblo basketball action, and the CSU Pueblo women's team did not disappoint. In front of the largest crowd in school history at nearly 3,000 fans, the Thunder Wolves played Western New Mexico and dominated the Mustangs. The pack led by as much as or as many as 32 points, going on a 26-0 run over a 10-minute span as they claimed a 67-43 win. The men's big win came the night before against the RMAC's highest scoring team, New Mexico Highlands, and CSU Pueblo got its first win over the Cowboys since 2008. The game was neck and neck until Chris Laurie threw down two dunks inside of the final three minutes of the game to help give CSU Pueblo an 87-82 win. We move to the mats as an intriguing matchup took place this week as CSU Pueblo freshman Jake Snyder took on his brother, Colorado School of Mines senior Jesse Snyder in a duel on Friday night in Golden. And even though Jake lost by a decision to his older brother, he got the last laugh Saturday at the Colorado School of Mines Open where he placed third by getting the win over Jesse in the third place match by way of an injury forfeit. And on Wednesday, February 2nd, CSU Pueblo's football team will announce its newest additions on National Signing Day. So be sure to visit GoThunderWolves.com and also Football Signing Day Central and see full profiles on each uh, future PAC football star. That's it for this week's Wolf Pack Update. We'll see you next week, and Go Thunderwolves!